Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could strum through a song called If I'm James Dean, then you're Audrey Hepburn by Sleeping With Sirens. And we're going to end up cabling this on 4th fret to play along with the recording. But we're going to start out on an E minor chord, and the way you play E minor, first finger goes to the A on the 2nd fret, and 2nd finger goes to the D string on the 2nd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor on our intro, we're going to be going to a C major chord, and the way you play C major, first finger goes to the B on the 1st fret, 2nd finger on the D string on the 2nd fret, and 3rd finger on the A string on the 3rd fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the C major, we're going to be going back to the E minor chord, and then we go to a D major chord, and the way you play D major, first finger goes to the G on the 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the high E string on the 2nd fret, and 3rd finger on the B string on the 3rd fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. Now through the tune, though, you may want to kind of think about that. There are a couple different ways that you may want to kind of kind of work the chords. You could do just kind of a down strokes, and actually a lot of the tune actually kind of sounds more like it's really heavy that way. Something else you may want to add to that is kind of taking the flat of your right hand and kind of laying it down on top of the saddle to kind of get a muted quality out of it, too. Um, although a lot of times with a song like this to make it more interesting, I like adding a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So you took the E minor and just tried that a lot. You have down, down, up. that strum pattern to work though you end up going really really slow and this is kind of weird that last E minor D would kind of half on our intro part. So we have E minor the down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, E minor down, down, D down, down, up. Or you could kind of try that muting idea that E minor. Kind of, kind of play around with that and then from there then we go into kind of an instrumental section actually where we end up just kind of doing our E minor and then our D and our C and then from there then we go into our verse part where on the verse we do our E minor twice and then we go to C major and then we go to a D major but then we go to a B7 chord and we play B7 first finger goes to the D on the first fret second finger on the A string on the second fret third finger on the G string on the second fret, and the pinky on the high E string on the second fret. And if you strum the A string to the, to the high E string, that sounds a B7 chord, and it sounds really, really nasty. Um, so if we try to reverse with our strum pattern, the weird part is you end up having the D and the B7 at the end with kind of that down, down, up. So you'd have E minor with the down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down. kind of sounds like in the recording is that you'd be doing kind of four hits on each one. So E minor kind of with, and I'm doing that as kind of a down kill it kind of idea. C down kill it, down kill it, down kill it, down kill it, D down kill it, down kill it, B7 down kill it, down kill it. And then from there then we'll be going into into our chorus part. And on our chorus we start on E minor. And then we go to C. And then we go back to E minor. And then we go to a G major chord, and the way you play G major, first finger stays on the A string, second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major, we go to a, the B7 chord. We're kind of doing that with, with kind of our strum all the way through. And that first E minor almost kind of feels like a carryover from the verse. It's almost like a little instrumental break. But you'd have E minor with a down, down, up. Up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, B7, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, B7, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then from there, then we kind of go into a chorus tag. And on the chorus tag, you may want to take the E minor chord. And if you take your third finger and kind of add it in on the high E on the second fret, that sounds something called E minor 9, and it feels like this little break where you do kind of a down, up, 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 
like a little reggae thing and then from there then we go into kind of our chorus tag where we start on the E minor and then we go to a C major chord and then we go to an A minor chord and we play A minor first finger stays on the B string first fret second finger on the D string second fret and the third finger goes to the G string on the second fret and if you strum all those together that sounds an A minor chord and it sounds really really sad and the weird part is on that part actually we're kind of halving our C and our A minor so we try to try to with our strum pattern We'd have e, that E minor break, that's kind of the beginning of that chorus tag. And then we go to E minor, down, up, up, down, up, C, down, down, A minor, down, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, A minor, down, down, up. And then from there, then we'll be going back into our chorus part, and then into a bridge part where we kind of do our E minor twice. And then we go to C major and then the D major, kind of alternate between those. And then we end up on our outro part where we go from C major to the D major to an E minor and then back to D major on our outro. So we'd have C with a down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, up. Now the weird part is to play along with Sleeping with Sirens instead of starting on an E minor chord. They're actually starting on a G sharp minor chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on fourth fret, then now your E minor is really a G sharp minor, your C major is really an E major chord, and your D major is really an F sharp major, and your B7 chord is really a D sharp seven, and your G major is really a B major chord, and your A minor is really a C sharp minor. But to take it from the very, very beginning, you could even work that intro with, with, with kind of those downs we were talking about, E minor, E minor, C, E minor, D major, or you could try strumming through that, and then you have E minor, the down, down, up. about two is something called a 16th note strum pattern and what I mean by that is as you're, if you're tapping your foot to the beat right now we're kind of dividing that beat into two parts with our down down up up down up. one two one two and that's called a, a, an eighth note what a 16th note is is where you divide that beat into four parts so like one two three four one two three four and one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is long down 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 up up down down up down up and what I mean by that is if you take the E minor do down for four one, two, That's what you're doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So all together, you got long down, 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 up. that through our intro on that E minor D we were happy we could just do down 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 so we tried it that way we have E minor down down up Or you could try that with the 16th, and you have E minor, and D with the down, 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 C down, 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 up. And then from there, then we go into our verse part, and you could try that with our down, down, up, up, down, up, and we have E minor, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, D down, down, B7, down, down, up. Or we could try that with our 16th, and we have E minor, down, 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 up, up, down, down. just dig on kind of that down kill it idea that we were doing E minor C D B7 and then from
from there then we go into kind of that waiting E minor where we're just kind of doing our down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we go into our chorus part. So we, we'd have our, if we did it with our down, down, up, up, down, up, we'd have C down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, B7, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 down,